Cattle, horses, sheep, swine, and even chickens are all being called to register. It's essential that we're able to trace back within 48 hours uh, the original location of whatever diseased animal that we may have. Now the animals don't have to actually locate, but the Department of Agriculture is strongly urging producers to register their farm or ranch under the new Locate in 48 program. Well, I think when people realize that it's not intrusive at all, we don't care if they got one cow or 5,000 cows, we don't care if they have one horse or 5,000 horses, we just need to know if there's a disease in their area that's affecting cattle. We want to contact them and say, you need to be cautious. We want to protect your herd from this disease, and we can't contact them if we don't have this information. Secretary of Agriculture Terry Peach was just one of many who spoke during a news conference at the Oklahoma Cattlemen's Association, introducing the new voluntary program. Premise registration, however, is not a new concept. In fact, voluntary registration started in 2004. Yet the state as a whole has been slow to do so, ranking in the bottom percentage of farms registered. If you can eradicate, if you can find the source in 48 hours, you save the livestock industry, whether it's poultry, cattle, sheep, goats, or aquaculture, a million dollars a minute. And that million dollars a minute comes out of all of our pockets, out of regulatory veterinary medicine pocket, out of the consumer pocket, and out of the producer pocket. Dr. Becky Brewer is the state veterinarian and says the program is not used to spy on producers, rather to set up a quick, thorough response unit that only the Department of Agriculture would have access to. In theory, when an outbreak occurs, the first step would be to set up an incident command system in that location. Next, utilize the database of registered premises and create a grid consisting of three rings based on GPS tracking and proximity to infected area. Once established, crews can go in, make contacts, and test species quickly and effectively. We have a great tradition here in Oklahoma, a great agricultural tradition, and it's something that we need to protect and that we need to foster. Our agricultural lands are very, very important. We produce here in Oklahoma and in the United States the safest, lowest cost, most abundant food supply in the world, and we need to protect that. Even though the USDA nationally funds this program, a statewide advisory committee from all sectors supports it, especially the $2 billion beef industry. Cattle business is big business, the livestock business is big business in Oklahoma. It is prudent for us, in our opinion, to do everything that we can to protect our herd health. Executive Vice President of the Oklahoma Cattlemen's Association, Scott DeWald. We can give you all these statistics, the $2 billion industry, 5.2 million head of cows. But knowing who manages those cows, knowing how to get a hold of them, knowing what dirt roads, country roads, and all those kind of things are, how to get to those operations is vitally important, especially on disease. A small amount of information that could not only save us money at the grocery store, but also keep us from a major food crisis.